All right, this video is how to upgrade your RAM on a Lenovo ThinkCenter M75Q Gen 2. Spin your PC around so you can see the actual back side of it, and there's a screw that we have to remove. This one is actually pretty flat, so I would suggest a screwdriver. I'm gonna use this cool little electronic screwdriver I bought for Black Friday. It's pretty darn sweet, but anyways, you could use any screwdriver. Once the screw has been removed, you can pick up the PC by both sides, and then use your thumbs to push the top panel forward towards the front of the PC. At that point, you can lift the panel straight vertically off of the actual PC. Now the next step is to remove the bottom panel so you're going to spin the PC around so the front of the PC is facing you and then you're going to pull that bottom panel towards you very similar in the way that the top panel was removed. At this point you should be able to see the actual RAM that you're going to be replacing. Maybe your PC doesn't have any at all but the dim slots are what we're looking at here. If you've already got RAM in there, you're going to take your index fingers or any finger really and grab the edge of the little silver arms and you're going to pull outwards and that should free the RAM and it's kind of spring loaded so it should pop up. At that point, you can just pull it out gently. Next up is going to be putting in the new RAM. I'm going to be putting in two 32 gigabyte modules because I want my PC to have 64 gigs total. You're going to want to insert the RAM at the same angle that you removed it from so it's about a 45 degree angle. Once you feel like it's been pushed all the way back into the slot, then you can bend it down and it should snap under those little silver arms that we use to remove the initial RAM. Before you actually push in the RAM sticks, do make sure that the little divider line actually lines up. One side is longer than the other and if you try and force it in the wrong way, you will break something. Once the RAM is snapped in place, we can put the bottom cover back on and you're just going to line up the little pins as you set it on pretty much exactly how you pulled it off and slide it back into place. When putting on either lid, just make sure everything is nice and flush so you're not forcing it and bending things improperly. Once the bottom panel is on, you can flip it over and just put on the top panel the same way you removed it. You're going to put it on at that about half inch mark from the rear and when everything feels good and aligned you can push it back with your thumbs and then lock it back in place with that screw. Do make sure when you're using the screw that you get it in place with your fingers first. I would highly not recommend using the electronic screwdriver like right off the bat because it's a great way to like thread it poorly and strip it or cause problems. If you followed all these steps correctly you should have an upgraded machine and you can enjoy it. Thanks for watching.